part B, one of question 11. Let's see what's going on here. They're saying, write the following pair of simultaneous equations as a matrix equation. Okay, good. Let's see what that is about. When you write a pair of simultaneous equations as a matrix equation, you have 3 by x plus 2 by y equal 1. What that mean? You're going to have a matrix times another matrix. I have an idea what it's going to be like. So, equals a third matrix. So, you're going to be 3 in one matrix times x in the other matrix plus 2 in one matrix times y in the other matrix equal 1. And that will give you this part on the top of the pair of simultaneous equations. Going to be this equation. Alright? If you remember how to multiply equations, you will see that it's row by column. So it's going to be 3. So it seems the 3 is supposed to be here times a column with x. So it's first element in row 1 times first element in column 1 plus the second element in row 1, in this case 2, times the second element in column 1, y, equals 1, right here. Then 5 times x so the 5 would be down here. 5 by x, the first element in row 2, times first in column 1, plus 4. For second element in row 2, 4, times y, equals 5. So this is it. As a shortcut, you write the numbers. 3, 2, 5, 4, 3, 3, 2, 5, 4, good, let me cover this up properly, times the letters x, y equals 5, 1, so remember, it's going to be, when you multiply it out, row by column, row 1 by column 1, 3 by x plus 2 by y, the first numbers, first elements multiplied plus second elements multiplied. Then, row 2 by column 1. Well, there's only one column here. First elements multiplied, 5 by x, plus second elements multiplied, so it's 4 by y. And that will be equal to this um, matrix. So that's it for part B, 1. We're going to move on to the next section later on.